Welcome back to my little Lemmings Reunion Creators commentary. And today we are going to finish up Hurt Me Plenty, so let's start with Hurt Me Plenty 21 Field Trip. It was also a level moved up from the, uh, the second rank. Well, I definitely underestimated the amount of tricks and stuff I used here. But I agree, this is, uh, this is now a much better place for this level. We let two lemmings fall down here, bash under the water uh, pit, and then simply build over this gap. We tuck in the cl uh, crowd with two blockers on each side. We need to free those blockers, and that will also be one problem, because the guys falling to the left will need to overcome a little obstacle here as well. So now let's focus on these two. Gave them both climbers. Also these balls are obviously backward fixes, together with these, uh, these steel blocks. He bashes, turns him around and will, will, he will prepare the pass on the right side. While he simply builds under the blocker so he can be mined out later. Now he goes on a little journey. We need to dig here so he won't walk into the ball here. Now he walks up and this grid will leave him uh, walking to the left, which is what we want because we need to destroy this one -way uh, these one-way walls. Later we will simply dig here so the crowd and everyone else can walk to the exit. Bosh to uh, bash through the first one-way arrow. I think yes, he will already dig and make the pass to the exit. Bashes through the uh, second one-way uh, wall. We mine out that blocker. And the last lemming from this crowd mine out the left blocker. So we've got two floaters here. We will walk up, uh, we'll climb up while he bashes through uh, this wall. So he has a little head start. And also he will dig down. So he has enough time to bash through this long wall and he won't turn around in his basher tunnel simply walking into the abyss. And that's it. <laughs> These are not very hard tricks used here, but again, I think the entropy and the length of the level make it uh, as difficult as it is. And it's a good thing I put it in rank 3 after. I think Nepsa was uh, that gave me the feedback that this, this was quite too hard for the position it was originally in. A Christmas journey. Okay. Got two hatches. So these guys from the left will simply fall into their deaths here, so these guys need to help. Second guy mines where the first one patches up this gap. Now the first guy reaching this gap will plug it. While the second one builds over the exit and will make a safe fall for the crowd approaching from the left side. This guy on the bottom will simply bash through this wall. First guy here, as I said, will become a climber and patch up this gap. Last builder will be used here as we reboot this uh, this crowd to the very right side. We have to use one more little trick here. He will climb up and dig down. As the last guy here will bash, and the crowd will come in such a. Uh, a with such a timing that it still lands on this digger place and well have a safe fall as later they will simply split. I've gave a few extra floaters here so if you if your timing is a bit off you have a little leeway and can assign some floaters. We will simply turn around here. And the last digger we have to use is for the climber guys to use uh, through this bridge or else they will simply go an infinite loop. Yippee! 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 
If these guys simply rely on turning on that block and well, for the climber this is possible. Alright, the next level, Sternenhimmel. This is uh, uh, basically uh, uh, how's it? Uh, mm, star, uh, sky full of stars in English. Of course, uh, Germany has a, a, one word for everything, so we simply put words together to create uh, super long words that sound very complicated. <laughs> Alright, uh, this level is uh, major difficulty is in the start, as you can only lose two lemmings, and the amount of builders you use is counted. So we simply dig with the first three lemmings. Also with the second three. The second ones will build forward, while the first ones simply make a holding pit for the crowds. This is also way, way more difficult than Lemon Eye. They don't have blueprints or frame stepping. Okay, now we block the first diggers, so the crowds are stopped in their holding pits. Because later we will use the method of bashing under the blocker to free them, and we need a little bit of space between the uh, first digger pit and the second one, so we don't simply bash through the bridge. These two will be bashed out while here we must use a bomber. Just like that. Bash out the second one and the last one later, when the route is prepared. Mine through this. And now we build up to here, so we can simply bash through this obstacle instead of using all of the builder, using up all of the builders at the bottom part. I also sent a second uh, guy over with a climber, as we will need to turn around here. Bash through here, repair uh, the blocker here, and well, we've got five builders left. Two for this pit, three for that. Also, I think I soon release that blocker. Yes, there it is. We release a crowd and, well, two of our three blockers at the start were saved. I think even all blockers. I think I used the lemming from the crowd and not the blocker for the first bomber. But, well, as you can see, the skills are counted and that's what makes this level quite difficult. You need to uh, count what you can use at the beginning to save the crowds and well, what uh, you need to save for later to prepare the pass to the exit. Okay, the next level, the alternative way. This was also backwarded quite a lot and I think I, I am accepting a few alternatives already here. I think one save is a climber, or maybe even a builder? Or lemming? I don't know anymore. Okay. First things first, we need to dig down here and create a little ledge so climbers will turn around there. Now we send three more climbers. He will bomb so the climbers can still land on here. Two will go forward while this one patches up this gap, so I can build the crowd out and, well, let them be stored in this little bomb hole. These two both build, while well, the first guy will become a blocker, so he can build up to here. Well, we build over the exit and, well, the le rest is simply mine and bash out the crowd. And basically all the alternative ways little play on words here, uh, come from the starting part. This part with the bomber and the builder, that was altered in quite a few ways over the time. 
Let's we simply blow up the blocker now and that's it. Okay, Metropolis. Up. All right, I think yes, the first two guys dig, so the crowd can be stored in this little pocket down here. Of course, this is still splattered, and we will need one more builder to make that a safe fall for the crowd. We bash under this trap, let the second guy be turned around, and he will prepare the route. So this guy will build two times later to make a safe falls for the crowds. But this guy will dig down here so we can then dig under the steel later. Also there need to be... This uh, also... Ugh. This must not be splat height. And also this needs to be climbable. Uh, to the left side as we need to turn around and make a little splat from here as well. This guy is not yet a climber so he doesn't need a builder to turn around. We will now proceed to make these two splat forms for the crowds. He's still busy. He bashes under. And build so the crowd can step up later. He now becomes a climber to well, finish the work here. He builds two times, and I also let the crowd out with two bombers. They all land safely onto the bridges. This is a bit as precise as it's very close to splat height. He turns around by hitting his head against the terrain here. He mines into one of those pockets to let himself be stopped and also create a turning point, as otherwise you will simply walk into the traps here. And now with the rest of the three builders we simply build ourselves to the exit. Of course the crowd mustn't arrive before he finishes, otherwise it will splat here. Well, that's it. Okay, 26, evolve. Um, yes. Go. Got four lemmings, three to be saved. Of course, they all need to be floaters and they will all become climbers as well. Basically, the main theme of this level is these little uh, pillars of... Uh, gems, which we will be used to stall the, uh, the crowd. Let them all climb up. But the second guy digs here, so three of the lemmings are trapped in here. We will mine through this. And builds over. As you can see, these lemmings are stalled for long enough so he can prepare this bridge. He will dig down here as well. Uh, he bashes out. We cannot allow to let the crowd turn as there's a trap here and a trap here. But also quite a lot of traps down here and we need to bash under them all to proceed. Because now the crowd is up to the basher again. But as you can see, they turned around in his basher tunnel and have quite a gap between uh, uh, to him, but well, he needs to build a very long bridge, and there where the, is there, that is where this long pillar of emeralds comes in again. As I mentioned, I designed this pack around uh, bridge stretching being needed. If I would make uh, this level now, I would simply uh, put a lot of a lot of smaller gaps here where you each need two builders for, let's say, instead of one very long bridge where you can save a builder by simply stretching out the single builders. But well, old design, let's say. Yes, and this digger will basically give him enough time to reach this wall. 
Okay, now we've got a little chameleon trap here and another trap before the exit and also down here. We will dig down before the trigger area and bash under the second vine trap. And also just be careful that nobody uh, walks past while he builds up to here. And here is where we use our one uh, lemmings we can lose by bombing at this wall. We can walk into that and bash and then dig to the exit. I've got quite a long walking distance now to get to the exit, but well... That's basically it. So the main thing is you have to use those emerald pillars the right way. Level 27, Whispers and Lights. This has become quite more difficult than in the Lemonai version due to... Yes, I think backward fixes and also that the neo Lemix trap of the measure here works a tiny bit faster, I think. Where do we got it? There. Let's go. We used two floaters at the beginning, also we turned up the release rate to 99. Those two floaters are used so the group is more stuck together to get enough lemmings past these traps. Also these little one-way arrows are used as a backward prevention method. One guy will bomb so the crowd is trapped down here. Only two lemmings can be, uh, be squashed by these measures. The last guy we can lose will, uh, will be used to make a hole in, into that ball here. Now we build over to the left, upper left side. Bash through this house. And I think you can already see what I have in mind here. You have to mine in such a way so that the miner goes over the bridge again, down to that steel. While the crowd can simply bash to the right and join in in this miner tunnel. And the last builder will be used to either stop the blocker for a basher from bashing, create a basher staircase, or simply as I use it here, build up the last basher is obviously to get to the chimney and well, get everyone to the exit. And 28, dirty work. I think this was also one of the first levels I created for this rank. Uh, for this, not for this rank, in, in general should be under the first 10. And this is basically one big multitasking uh, task. Have to... With the hatch from the left you basically have to build over to this downward stalactite first. From this hatch the first guy will float down here and create this platform at this location. Here we simply build to that pillar. This digger is used to delay the slamming so he can finish up the bridge. Here we bash under a rock trap. I try to make it as visible as possible, but still, this rock trap is bad trap design. The second guy here will be used to patch up this gap. Also one guy will climb out to the left to prepare the route. This guy will build up to this wall, so the crowd coming from the right by bashing uh, through this long, thick wall will land safely onto that bridge. This one bridge is also enough to make this not splat height. As you can uh, hear by all the explaining I have to do, this is quite a lot of multitasking that is required for this level. But, yes. The, mo the most stressing parts are over, I think. You have to climb out to the left, make a bridge over here, to prepare the route, also mine them out and mine to the left as well to join the crowds. We send the second lemming over here, as we l later need the second guy to turn right. Build over this trap, as I already explained, we main mine out that crowd. Now these guys are very close together. We mine to join all the crowds together. Bash under this bear trap, which is, well, it's still stucking out, but 
it could be made a bit more visible. Still some of the steel parts are sticking out, but well, this can be designed better, let's say. Okay, we simply build to this wall and mine a bash to the one way a wall. We let this crowd out with the miner, as they can all walk into the exit now. While this guy turns uh, around with the builder and we used all of our skills and my... Ugh, my mouse is tired from all the explaining. <laughs> there are no really hard tricks used here, but again, the entropy and the length and you, the, uh, the fact that you have to do it quickly is the main enemy here. Okay, Hurt Me Plenty 29, Controlled Release. This was also one of the tougher ones. We've got only one basher and a lot of bombers as destructive skills. And well, the bombers are counted uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So enough for these pillars. And well, the last basher has to be used here. To create controlled releases, as the title suggests, we bash with the second last lemming and build over to that side. But then we need additional lemmings because we have to sacrifice two to bombing. So we will use a blocker here and another blocker here. So we will, we will release two lemmings this way, the blocker and the guy trapped in here. Another blocker here with two lemmings inside, as we have to use three bombers here. And we've got one blocker and two lemmings to be freed in uh, the next batch here. And one more time we have to trap in three guys, as for the last obstacle we have four bombers to be used. So the blocker plus the three lemmings in here. And after that the basher will uh, reach the last blocker and free the crowd. Also the basher will buy and uh, die and simply bash out to the right. Okay, we already have prepared the level here, let's say, with all these controlled releases. There's another way of doing this by simply letting all the whole crowd turn and then simply block the second, third or fourth slamming to let a few guys walk to the left. That is also one way to do, but I like to prepare the whole level here already. But again, you can simply let the crowd walk and just use the blockers as the crowd turns back and so that only a few lemmings come back every time. So we bombed two times and we have to use three builders here. Blockers have to be set in such a way that these lemmings will only come after these three uh, these two builders here have been built, otherwise they will fall into the bubble bass. So three builders here, one builder here, for each sex uh, section we have to use four builders. Uh, yes. This is not splat height. Here comes the next batch. And that was the basher. He released the crowd, walked off to the right, and here comes the crowd. We have to finish the level and get over the, the suck, last sucker trap just before the crowd arrives. Okay. I think now we are down so much that we have to use a little... Yes, we have to make a little splat from here, otherwise they will splat. And the last two builders are simply for the last two obstacles. And that's it. So as long as you have controlled releases by releasing only a few lemmings each turn and have enough for the bombers, you are fine. Okay, and the rank finisher which... Well, um, shall... Recap on the rank and show off all the neat tricks you learned again. Edge to insanity. Where do we got it? Also, I think the time limit here is not really needed, but well, can still be uh, say uh, said about a few time limits in here. But well, this is a very old pack. 
I will do this better in United. <laughs> I already removed uh, most of the time limits, but well, it still comes from Lemonai where everything had a time limit anyway. And back then I even make them very, made them very tight, so they are always under one minute upon finishing uh, with the intended route, so I even gave some leeway uh, back then uh, through the feedback I got. But anyway, let's start. The first lemming uh, climbs over and prepares the bridge down here. The second one bombs and bashes under here, so they will be delayed. Also, there's again a boulder trap. I try to make this button visible. But again, I probably won't use this trap today. <laughs> As I still think the boulder trap sucks in this bad trap design. Okay. You will build here and then become a blocker. So we can build up to here. Now we need to, uh, to use a little trick climb and bomb. So we have a little step up. So now one builder is enough to get up to here. Here we have to use the little turnaround builder again with the later blocker releasing the crowd. Should be known by now by the player. As I, I think I used this two times already. I can now release the crowd as we simply need a little bit of uh, the space in between him and the crowd to get through this pillar so they don't walk into the flamers. Now they will safely land down here before this becomes splat height and well, they will be delayed here by these wooden stakes. He will be dig down and patch up this gap. Walking to the left is not very healthy as there are meshes there. By the way, the remix is another one of New Mac's uh, New Mac ones. I think yes, all of the last rank uh, level remixes are ones created by New Mac. And last, we have to simply mine down here so they don't simply walk into the traps on the left side. And that's it. Basically. You have your turnaround blocker trick learned here. This little delaying, uh, delaying tactic. The climber bomber builder trick here to gain uh, some additional haze. And also this uh, using the digger pit in such a way to create a safe fall, but well, be fast enough. For the first fall not becoming spared height from the Christmas journey level. Okay, and so much for the third rank. Yes, those blockers still need to be nuked. And that's it, so. Well, next time we move on to Ultraviolence, the fourth rank. Until then, have a nice day.